To install the FileZilla FTP server, go to Google Chrome or any browser of your choice. Type in FileZilla and click on this website. This will take you to the FileZilla project.org. On the left side, click on FileZilla server download. Now for Windows, click on download FileZilla server. Click on the first option download. This will download the setup for the FileZilla server. After the setup is downloaded, click on the setup to run it. Click on I agree to agree the license agreement. Click on next, next, next. Now select here a password for configuring the FileZilla server. You can even leave it blank if you are using for some test purposes but for added security you may enter some password here. So let me just enter some random password. Click on next. Next. This will install. Here this is the fingerprint that will be used by FileZilla. You can note it down for security purposes but it's okay if you are just testing it out. After the installation is completed, the administrative panel will open. You can also start using the shortcut, it's also available in the start menu. Now once the interface is open, click on connect to FileZilla FTP server. Type in the password that you just entered. Save the password if you want. Click on OK. Now in the server section, click on configure. Go to the users. Now click on add, type in the username, I have added here the username as user. You can set some password if you want, I will just enter some random password. Now in the mount points click on add, enter a forward slash, uh, this, will, this will be the root path, double click on the native path. Now. Now you want to go in the explorer and select the folder that you want to host for your FTP server. I have created a folder with a file in it to just test it out. Right click the folder, click on properties and select the path. Copy the path, go to the FileZilla server panel and paste the path. Now, now add in another slash and type in the folder name and click enter. Now here you can also select the access mode whether only read and write is available, only read only is available or it is completely disabled. Once done click on OK. Now open another file explorer. Now in the address bar type in ftp colon slash slash your IP address of your computer. To find the IP address of your computer in the start search, type in CMD, select the command prompt and type in ipconfig. Now copy the IP address of your computer. IP address would be the IP4 address. Copy this address And in the address bar, type in ftp colon slash slash your IP address of your computer. Click on enter. It will ask for username and password. Type in the username as user as we previously created and type in the password that we added there. Click on login. You can also see a password if you want. Now once login in, the file will be open in the FTP server. Now if this is not visible, that is, if this is showing as an empty folder but you actually have contents in your folder that you had selected, then go to the administration interface, click on server, click on configure, go to the protocol settings FTP and FTP over TLS, go to the passive mode. Now you are here to check use custom port range. It may be enabled or disabled for you. If it is disabled, then click on enable. Type in a port range. It can range from 49152 to anything. Let's limit our port range to 49155. So giving only 4 ports here. Click on apply. Click on OK. 
again go to the file explorer go to the address bar type in ftp your ip address of your computer click on enter it will ask for password type in the password click on logon and this time it should show the file there so now you have hosted your own ftp file server you can use this by implementing any client of your choice thank you